Hi everyone and welcome to Adam's Aquatics. Today we're going to be talking about heating your tanks. Um, you may have seen from my first video we have like nine tanks in this fish room uh, and only one of them has a particular fish tank heater in them. Um, so we're going to talk about ways to uh, heat your tanks um, without having to spend a fortune in the electricity bill. Uh, and that is the topic of this video. Okay, so this is the uh, box of electrical fish tank equipment that was all replaced when I went to a central system. So there's filters, power heads, lights, and heaters. So this is a standard fish tank heater. This is a 100 watt heater. Um, this was used in the big display tank, which you would have seen in, the first, in my last video. Um, and this guy heated that tank to, it's set at 20, 29 degrees, which uh, because this room used to get quite cold, uh, would only set it to uh, 27 degrees. So um, that is a way of, and as you can see, if I was to heat every individual tank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with individual heaters, that would take up a lot of electrical space. So you see here, there's only three tank, three things plugged in here. Uh, one, of the, two of those are these two lights on the electrical timers, um, which will be in another video. Uh, and one, that tank, that one there, is the the uh, heater for this tank here. Like I spoke about in the last video, the round tank, which obviously has to be kept hotter than the rest of the room. Um, so the way to heat the room and save yourself a bit of electricity, a bit of money is to use, one second, a storage heater. Um, so uh, we are in a garage. Um, this is one of the rooms in my garage. This is um, this is just stud walling with insulation built inside it. Uh, all four walls. Um, they're all in, got insulation on, in between them. Uh, and I use these curtains uh, in front of the doors to keep uh, the air from escaping to keep the uh, warmth in but we use two storage heaters that little one there and that big one there and um, this one is the main heater this heats the room uh, and this one is only here so that if the temperature in the room dips below a certain temperature uh, it kicks on and it boosts the temperature back up so I use one of these uh, thermostat plugs it keeps the room uh, between 29 and 27 let's see if I get that focused so the, the, this, this heater turns on when the temperature is below 27.5 and it kicks itself off when it hits 29 degrees. So this typically heats the room to around 28, 28.6, 28.5 uh, within a degree or so of that. Obviously overnight it dips down lower and sometimes this heater kicks on. And when the summer, the winter is over, we'll be into the summer and this room is kept relatively cool because it has no outside windows so it has no, in, no outside light coming in so the room stays relatively cold and we won't worry about it being cold in this winter. We do use a dehumidifier in here as well which helps to keep the, the air nice and crisp which obviously gets rid of a lot of the liquid in the air because you know there's nine fish tanks in here um, that we kind of would need to dehumidify the room because if we didn't I would be sat in here breathing in uh, basically breathing in liquid temperature just to keep my fish tanks at so you know like I said uh, we keep the room heated to between 27.5 and 29 degrees and uh, it keeps the temperature of the tanks around 25.9 degrees uh, in the big tank um, this again is right next to the door which is leads to the uh, the external door so this temperature tank technically is kept a bit lower because of the air in and out it depends on how often I open the door depends on how often the temperature goes down but um, there isn't a lot of through traffic in here so um, the temperature is normally around 25.9 degrees uh, and then we have some more temperature probes on these two tanks here 26.2 and this one here 25.5 again this is close to the door the other door which uh, leads into another room um, which is why uh, it is again typically a bit colder and obviously the lower you go the lower the temperature is because the temperature doesn't rise. So again, these ones are around 24 degrees, which I'll show you now using my uh, temperature probe. One second. So this is a TDS meter. This is what I use to mix my uh, RO water for my uh, tanks. Um, this guy's getting a bit annoyed with 
if he's stuck in his tank. But again, so this is the TDS meter. It's showing 26.3 degrees. Uh, this is the middle tank on the bottom row. So again, heat rises. So essentially this tank should be one of the cooler tanks. Um, it's showing 26.3 degrees, no heater in the back. Um, again, so this just proves that, you know, essentially heating the, the uh, tanks does do what it needs to do to keep the fish, the tropical fish warm enough to thrive and survive in, in uh, this surroundings. We have uh, a few options. Um, one, heat all the tanks individually using heaters and cost yourself a lot of money. Or two, um, heat the room centrally um, and save yourself a little bit of money in the uh, long run. Um, you know, um, I didn't, don't need two heaters in here. Um, I only really need one. I just like to be safe. Um, and because it is a garage and I'm not out here all the time, I do like the security that that gives me. I could just go down to one heater with the temperature probe on it and that would be fine. But um, I like to know that the, the fish uh, room is safe and secure and that's kind of something that does it for me. Um, if you like this video, um, make sure that you like and you subscribe um, and I'll catch you in the next one.